In previous video, we saw how to program KDV Fusion ICs of Atmel family either by using an external programmer or via a USB ASP programmer. There are other types of ADV51 chip which doesn't require any programmer. So let's begin. The two chips which I am familiar with are NXP's T89V51RD2 and Norton W78E05D. Reason they don't require a programmer is that they have a bootloader program on the chip which can communicate directly with the PC via a COM port. If you don't have a serial connector on your PC, you can use a serial to USB converter. And if you have a project board which doesn't have a serial connector, you can simply use USB to TTL converter. Let's begin with the programming. Connect TX, RX and ground pins of USB to TTL converter to TX, RX and ground pins of the microcontroller. You have to do a cross connection that is connect TX of USB to TTL converter to RX of the microcontroller and vice versa. You can also use the 5 volt pin available on the converter board to power the board which will draw power directly from the USB port. Once connections are done, the chip on board will be ready to be programmed multiple times. Next, connect the USB to TTL converter to PC using an extension cable. When you connect USB to TTL converter to PC, it will create a virtual COM port. Open device manager and look for its COM port number. For programming Nuatans IC, use Nuatans ISP facility. Select the COM port number which we saw earlier in the device manager. Load the X file and click update chip. It will ask for you to press reset button on board. Once you press the reset button on the project board, software will start erasing and programming the chip. And after clicking OK to the notification, the program starts to run on board. And just like that, you can program the chip multiple times. For programming NSP chip, you can use Flash Magic Utility. Select COM port as shown in Device Manager window. Select baud rate to 9600. Select the chip number. In this case, T89V51RD2. Check Erase All Flash option, Verify option, leave all other options unchecked. Next, load the hex file and click Start. It will prompt you to press Reset button. After pressing the Reset button, the program starts to erase program and verify the chip. You have to press Reset button again to run the code. Sometimes Flash Magic software may give error. In that case, Lower the baud rate and click start button again. It should program the chip without any problem. This concludes video about programming AD51 chips. AD51 chips are purely digital chips and unlike AVR and PIC microcontrollers, AD51 chip doesn't support analog functions like inbuilt ADC. But Atmos 4051 has an inbuilt analog comparator which can be creatively used to do some interesting projects about which we will see in upcoming videos. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. That's it for now. See you again later.